Hello everyone this is Tuba Mirza and welcome to Recoding All the code used inside this video are mentioned inside the description box So if you like the work we are doing and if you're learning something from our videos please do subscribe to our channel and share it with your group because your subscription will make this type of video happen in the future So without any further ado let's get started Navigation view in Swift UI provides user to fully function navigation which is not simply help to navigate from one view to another but it also helps to customize our application as per as our own need. We can show titles, subtitles, button on navigation, menus and much more. It's one of the most crucial building blocks of modern iOS applications. Almost every app has this feature. So let's check out how to customize the nav bar of navigation view to as per our own need. In this video, we are going to create nav bar with toolbar button. Then we are going to create a list inside navigation view. Then customize the behavior of nav bar. So without any further ado, let's get started. First, we have already created a Swift UI app for iOS, which natively supports iOS 15. Now, we can wrap our content view body inside the navigation view. Navigation view provides use many more features which we could implement like adding a navigation title. To add to it, we simply use navigation title modifier and add title as string. We can modify the navigation bar display mode as per our own choice as it contains large inline and automatic options. Toolbar provides more functionality without cluttering the main content UI. To add toolbar, we simply use toolbar modifier and inside the closure, we add out views. Adding a toolbar items helps to easily place the item which we want to display inside the toolbar. We can add the placement to the trailing and leading edges of toolbar. Inside the toolbar item, we can simply add the button. So we can see that the button which we have created is appearing on the leading side of navbar. To add more than one button inside the toolbar, we use toolbar item group. It also contains the placement option which we set to trailing side. Then we can simply add our buttons which we need. We can also add menu option button which consists of more than one button. This helps to further reduce your UI complexity and made easier to look while using the app. Simply use the menu view and add the label. Inside the menu closure, simply add our buttons. We can add buttons with roles. It will show as per we specified as delete button. Should show destructive roles while other buttons can have their own role behavior. Now we create a list for showing some data. But first, we need to create the structure of the data. Create a structure which conforms to identifiable. Then create an ID which equals to UUID. Then create name which conforms to string. Then create the another structure data for the list. Then add the static data of array and create example data. Now inside the content view, we add the list array data and add ID of data array. Then for each item inside the array, we are going to show text. 
and here we can see the list has been appeared. Now add the link inside the navigation link with text. This will add a sub view inside the navigation when user taps on it. We can also add the toolbar inside the detail view using similar toolbar we use inside navigation. To change the color of list background, we simply add list row background to blue. To change the appearance of navigation, we can further customize using UI navigation bar appearance. We can add init block before the body. Then create appearance and assign to UI navigation bar appearance initializer. We can set the configuration of it with opaque background. It configures the bar appearance object with a set of opaque colors that are appropriate for the content theme. We can also set it to transparent background. It configures the bar appearance object with a transparent background and no shadow. Now set the background color to system sign. To add the title text attributes, we need to add array of attributes for this example. We are changing the foreground color only, but you can change the text to bold italic and much more. For the large text, we can also add array of attributes. For setting our attributes, we need to add UI navigation bar appearance to our new appearance. For compact appearance, we also have to specify our appearance compact only appears when we do scroll. For scroll edge appearance, we set it to the appearance we have created. And finally, change the tint color, which changes the color of button inside the nav bar to white color. So, this is how we can fully customize the navigation. We can also see that all child views also have the same characteristics of the main navigation color. We can also add the appearance code inside the onAppear modifier of the view, so it will load when our view appears. We can also change the color using Z stack and add color with ignore the safe area. This will remove the background color of the navigation. We can also add the navigation bar appearance as custom view modifier. To create a custom modifier, we need to create a structure as navigation bar custom modifier which conforms to view modifier. Then inside it, we create the initializer and add the initializing value like background color which conforms to UI color. Then foreground color conforms to UI color. Large text attributes color to UI color. Tint color if given we set to UI color, if not it will be nil. We can also hide separators which confirms to bool and initial value to false. Then similarly, we add a navigation appearance initializer and set each of the property and equals each property to the attributes.
Then we create the body which return content as view. And finally paste our old values of appearance we have earlier provided. We can check if the height separator is true to set the separator tint color to clear. Now we create extension to view and add our function navigation bar modifier and add the initializer we require to use the function. Now finally return some view and add our navigation bar custom modifier. We have created that structure. Now inside the main view, we can use our modifier. So we can see that our navigation color can easily change just simply changes the value. So this is how we can customize the navigation bar in Swift UI and create our own custom modifier. I really hope that you like this video. Please do comment and tell us how would you like to use this feature in your app. And yes, let us know what you liked or disliked about this video in the comment section. Please do like and subscribe to our channel. And yes, do not forget to suggest some more topics. For now, I'll be signing off. We'll definitely see you all in the next video.